everyone. It's Lori Ballin out here in Las Vegas, Nevada with Lori Ballin team. I serve Summerlin and we have agents in Vegas, North Las Vegas, Henderson and Boulder City. Today in this video, I'm just going to show you how to unsubscribe somebody from a smart plan or how to remove somebody from a smart plan. All right. There's actually three ways. Now, the first is if you remove this person, if you archive that contact for some reason, let's just say Tinkerbell here, for example, I'm always using Tinkerbell as our example. Let's just say Tinkerbell responds to a message that you sent and says, go away, never contact me again. I don't want anything to do with you, <laughs> whatever. You have choices. You can leave them in your contacts and just make sure they don't ever get added to another smart plan. Um, or you can be safe and you can click this little file box, which will archive your contact, but will not delete them permanently. So it prevents them from getting any additional messages from you for being in the uh, visual eye in any of your reports or anything like that, that you don't want to be seeing it. And it sits in the archive, and unless you go in there and then permanently delete it from the archive, it's it's basically just filed away. It's not completely deleted. So I tested this. Now, everything is subject to change. I'm not the one building KW Command, so who knows. But I tested this, and when I do put somebody in the archives, they are removed from the smart plan. So that's your first way of removing somebody. Okay, your next way of removing somebody is right here inside the contact record. You can click up here and see smart plan. So let me add Tinkerbell to a smart plan just so that I can show you how to remove her. All right, so I'm going to put her in there. Start now, and I'm going to click confirm. Oh, hold on. Um, confirm. Please add steps. Let, okay, that's weird. Let's do this one. Maybe that was a test one. I, I made a mistake. I was trying to add her to a test one that didn't have any steps yet. Okay, so now what you can see is Tinkerbell is now, act, act, is now added to the smart plan. Now, what you need to be careful of is when you add somebody to a smart plan, if you have Twilio connected, which is your automated text messaging application. That's what sends your text messages through your Twilio phone number. And you have text messages in your steps, which you'll be able to see right here. When you click this little arrow, click that arrow, you can see all the steps that are in that smart plan. If you see anything else that says SMS, which is your automated text plans, and you add them to the smart plan, it will go out automatically to my understanding, although there seems to be some variety. And the reason I warn you about that is because if you're up at four o'clock in the morning like I am, and you're adding people to t smart plans, and you have it activate immediately, it will send them a text message at four o'clock in the morning or at midnight. To my understanding at this point, there's not a way to control that timing yet. You can control the date that it sends, but not yet the time. So we'll see if that changes. So make sure it's business hours <laughs> or, you know, up until a certain point at night that you would believe would be acceptable. All right. I usually don't send anything after I think eight's like our highest. And honestly, out of respect, I think seven's probably a good limit, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't want to get text messages after seven o'clock, <laughs> but I go to bed early. All right, so how we can remove Tinkerbell from the smart plan now is by clicking that little trash can and it will unsubscribe her. Now you're going to see in the timeline an unsubscribe. So unfortunately, we can't see whether or not they unsubscribed or we unsubscribed them yet. It just says smart plan unsubscribed. So you might want to make yourself a note by going up here to notes, click add note, unsubscribe note. And I would put, I removed her from the smart plan 
because I created a new one that is more appropriate. Okay, and then click save. So then at least you'll have a note that you actually unsubscribed or she didn't unsubscribe. I'm not sure if it shows anything different when they unsubscribe. I would have to look. Um, now, why might you unsubscribe somebody from a, a smart plan? Well, one of the reasons is when you create when you create a smart plan and it's got certain components, you can't edit it after the fact. So instead of be able, being able to just edit a smart plan that everybody's in, you've got to go then create a new one or duplicate that one and then change the steps and then publish it. And therefore, you're probably going to want to remove them from the original smart plan and put them in a new one. That's the most common reason right now that we have. Or you might just get a text message from somebody or a, an email message back saying, please unsubscribe me, and you might want to do that for them manually. Now, there's one more way, and this, this is how you can remove multiple people from a smart plan, okay? So if you're just, if you know you're one, per, one record, it's one person you're concerned about, just go to that contact record, and you can remove them from all the smart plans that you want that they're listed in here, okay? Now, the other way, let me add her so that we can do this again. This time I'll add her to BBA. Start now, confirm. Okay, now the other way, and let's just say you're gonna remove all the people in a smart plan or multiple people, or you can still just remove one. On the left-hand side, you're gonna go over here to the smart plans icon. Now here, you're going to be able to see all of the smart plans that you have activated. You can also see how many people are in that smart plan by looking at the number next to the smart plan. So if it's there's nobody in there, it's going to look like this. If there's a bunch of people in there, it's going to look like this. Okay. Now what you next thing you want to do is go ahead and click that eyeball. That's so that you can view. That's what that eye means is view. So let's click there. And over here now to the right, you can see everybody that's in that smart plan. So if you have created a new smart plan that you like better and you want to remove everybody, you can click, click select all and then down here unsubscribe all or confirm unsubscribe will remove everybody from that smart plan. Or you can look up one person that's in there and you can check the little box next to her, and then you would confirm unsubscribe. And you're just gonna unsubscribe that one person, okay? Now, you also have this ability over here to add contacts, edit the smart plan, and if you click the three dots, you can copy a smart plan, you can delete it, and by clicking on an arrow to the left of any smart plan, you can see all of the steps that are in that smart plan. So those are the three ways that you can unsubscribe or remove somebody from a smart plan. I'm Lori Ballin out here in Summerlin, Las Vegas, Nevada.